Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, it'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, we'll do time. And plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Kabish? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. Get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. We both got jobs to do, Tommy. We'll talk later. Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. Hello, Vince. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me? A Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sawed-off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupata. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, Tommy, I got a new car. 
just a bit better than the, than, than, than the v v v v v V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but it ain't no problem when you're in the, 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 the business. That's it. Thanks, Ralphie. Greetings from Mr. Salieri, Biff. We need to know where the cops have got Frank. Sorry, Tommy. I don't know nothing about it. Hey, little Tony. He's like this, with the cops. Mr. Salieri needs to know where the cops are holding Consigliere Frank. And Big Biff suggested you might know something. Hey there, Tom. Uh, look, I don't know uh, yeah, what, where, where, where they've got Frank exactly, but uh, I do know there's a scumbag uh, that's been blurting stuff, uh, something about Frank and the, co and, uh, the cops the other day. Uh, they call him uh, Idiot Joe because he's a complete idiot. He hangs out uh, on the lot under the bridge. Uh, you'll know him. He's completely bald. Great, Tony. I owe you one. Joe's on the lot on the bridge. I oh, know so. Joe, by chance? Get the wrong guy. I'm Pete. Well then, I'm George. Sorry to hear that. Say, ain't you got a twin brother by the name of Joe? My brothers ain't none of your business. Well, I gotta talk to somebody named Joe damn quick. Don't know that fella. I ain't getting through to you. It's pretty damn important. What's important is that uh, you gotta scream. Take it easy. I ain't leaving till I find out where Joe is. That's tough, George. Mom used to always say, Joe, don't go talk to strangers or taking their candies. What did I tell you? Joe. Go screw yourself. I want to know where the fuzz has got Salieri's, Consigliere Frank. You're my man. What not told you that? I don't know shit. Jeez. Don't try and rile me, Joe. Just remember real quick. Christ. I told you I don't know anything about it, Buck. Just scram. You wanna play hardball, huh? Come on, Joe! Buzz off! Come on, Joe! Go to hell! Ah! Yeah! Okay! Okay, already! You win, man! You win! 
For Christ's sake, stop hitting me! I'll spill the beans! I'm all ears. Frank and those bastards agreed that if he gave the account books, they'd pack him off to Europe. You'd better move it. He's probably leaving today. They've been holding him in some joint opposite the tennis courts in Oak Alley. That's all I can tell you. Now leave me alone, you rat. You've been a big help, Joe. Next time, get to the point a bit earlier. God damn it! Jesus, that was close. They must be worried about Frank if they're driving him around in an armor-plated car. Well, I'll follow them and see where they're headed.
Hey, pop that now. Whatever you want. Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. And you know why. I know why. I know. I don't get what happened to you. I thought you were my friend. I'd have never guessed that something like this would happen. Why the hell did you do it? Tom, I couldn't go on this way. Too many people have died lately, and I, I don't have the stomach for it. it. Used to be different with the Don in the old days. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Tom, this is a war and I don't want to fight anymore. I, I got a child and I, I thought I'd finally get some peace. You couldn't have done this some other way? You didn't have to sell us out. It came for me and I had to surrender. They have my wife and daughter, Tom. If I don't give them the books, they'll kill them. Before, we used to solve things like men. You, Paulie, or Sam would get them back. But I can't take that risk this time. I don't want to lose them, Tom. I can't live without them. They told me if I did what they wanted, they'd release them and send us to Europe. Maybe we'd start again. Cops? The cops are blackmailing you and want to kill your family? Ever since you and Paulie killed that Billy kid, the cops and Morello have been working hand in hand. The counselor, the kid's father, got where he is thanks to Morello. Morello wanted to get me to talk, and the police would then liquidate the Don. Both sides would then get what they wanted. I'm afraid this situation has changed somewhat. Where are the books, Frank? I haven't got them, Tom. You handed them over already? No. No, Tom. I'll tell you where they are if you get my wife and daughter back. We were supposed to wait here at the airport, so they must be holding them somewhere around here. Come here after if you want. Just make sure they get out of this city alive. Fine. But you'll have to give me those books first, Frank. Sorry, but they're in case you're lying. Send someone here quickly. We heard shots. Oh! Are you Frank's wife? You've come to save us. I am indebted to you. Where is Frank? He's here. Wait here. I'll be right back. Okay, Frank. Come with me. Mark. Oh, good Alice. Thank God you're all right. Darling. Thanks, Tom. They promised they'd give me plane tickets when I gave them the books. Those tickets must be here somewhere. Could you try to find them? Okay, I'll do that, Frank. Wait here for me. I hope you ain't planning no funny business. I'm sorry about what happened, Tom, but I couldn't help it. Have you got the tickets? You must have them here somewhere. I'm glad you got rid of those crooks. The police behave worse than gangsters. I think the plane's taking off soon. Poor Alice. All of this isn't good for her. You are such a good person, Tom. I'm glad you got rid of those crooks. The police the behave tickets? worse than gangsters. You must have them here somewhere.
Here you go, Frank. Thanks, Tom. Let me say goodbye to March and Alice, and then we'll sort out this what? business. What? Frank, you want flying with us? What? I can't. What? Much. Tommy and I have a very serious situation here that we must sort out. Right, Tom? Frank, just tell me where the books are, and go with them. What? How would you explain it to the Don? Forget about it. That's my problem. Where are the books? I'll never forget this. Here's the key to a safe box in the First National Bank downtown. The books are there. Take it, Tom. Thanks. And Tom, thanks for everything you've done for us. I'm indebted to you. And tell the Don I'm sorry for the way things had to end. To the Don, you're dead, Frank. If he finds out you're not, then this isn't finished. Now just go. Tommy, I'll never forget how you helped us. God bless you. Goodbye, mister. And, uh, don't forget what I told you in the car that time. In the end, your best friend kills you. Frank told me that in the car. And now, it was me who was meant to kill a friend. Only I didn't do it. Don't do to others what you wouldn't want them to do to you, or however they say it. And I didn't want Polly to knock me off anytime soon. <laughs> I may have given him a reason to do just that today. I brought it on myself. I just hope he likes me as much as I like Frank. Frank didn't lie. The briefcase with the account books was in the safe box. There was no problem getting it. Luckily, everybody bought that Frank was dead and that I had disposed of his body. So Frank's funeral took place without Frank. The Mafia has a habit of organizing grand funerals for important people, where they forget the unfinished business they have with each other, or with the dead. The deceased are only shown in a good light. It's the principle of every gangster, at least at a funeral. So it happened that not only Salieri and our people made long speeches about their best friend Frank, but even Morello and other gangsters. Morello and Salieri cried on each other's shoulders. It didn't seem like they had been at each other's throats only the day before. Frank would have been spinning in his grave had he actually been dead. I guess everything turned out pretty well, only I had to think up something about Frank's family. Salieri, of course, wanted to help out his best friend's poor widow till the end of her days. I couldn't let him know that they were really resting comfortably in Europe at that moment. Lake Park seen dark, silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me you, sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, 